Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to show you how to uh, use the uh, social icons uh, from Elementor uh, and to display them vertically and have them stick or as you scroll down the page. So, uh, yeah, this question came up in the uh, Elementor Facebook group recently and uh, Here's uh, one way you can do it to uh, emulate a, a plugin. And it's all done with CSS. So let's go over and see what we have here. Um, first off, let's go see what plugins we're using. Uh, because I wanted to do this using all uh, free items that are all available in the uh, Word plugin repository um, that's why we're using anywhere Elementor this is a free version and uh, what this does is uh, like I said let you put your templates anywhere using a short code and uh, the other thing uh, is we have Astra hooks now this is a free standalone plugin for the Astra theme uh, which I'm using for this video uh, in that it gives you a convenient place to uh, add content to the uh, various hook locations in the Astra theme. Um, if I were to use Generate Press, uh, I would have to use the Generate Press Premium plugin to be able to do that. So I wanted to do this all with uh, no cost items. And of course, Elementor uh, is the one from the plugin repo, and it is, of course, free to download. As is simple CSS, the plugin from Tom Osborne uh, over at Generate Press. And that's we'll, where we'll be adding our um, CSS. So, just a quick thing in the themes you can see I've just got the latest Astra, and that's about it. So, first thing we need to do then is uh, go to anywhere Elementor and add a new template. This is where we're going to do our uh, add our, our icons. So let's call this one social uh, vertical. And I'm going to use the uh, canvas uh, page uh, post attribute template whatever and publish that because we don't need anything else. And edit with Elementor. And where's our social icons? Here they are. So let's just drag them up there. And I'm just going to leave the three now. You can, of course, add your own or do whatever you want and uh, make them look the way you want. But drag them around. But let's just use this one for now and save that. And this is just a how to. You can fill your boots styling it the way you want. So anyways, now that we have our uh, short code, this is what we're going to use. So let's just uh, copy that. And we'll come over to Appearance and Customize. And this is where uh, the hook locations show up uh, once you have that plugin installed and activated. And for this one, we're going to go into the header. And we're going to do the after header location. Now, I'm going to just paste that in. And there you see it. Look at that. Amazing. But we got to uh, uh, do a couple things here for us. And one is to place this in a div. So I'm going to wrap this up in a div called div. And we're going to, I use IDs for uh, whatever. They just stand out nicer in the, in the editor. ID, uh, uh, and what did I call this? Oh, yes, my uh, my social, I called it. Uh, and double quotes, and that tag. And then to close the dev off, D-I-V. And there you go. And you say, well, yeah, but I wonder, we're going to stick it down along this side. But that's where the CSS comes in. So we're going to go publish that and go back here to the dashboard. Let's go uh, just verify in the front end uh, uh, to see what we have. And yet there it is in the after header location. And I'll show you how to do that. That 
<laughs> I like that. Anyways, I digress. Uh, so, okay. Now here under appearance and simple CSS. Now I'm just going to go over here to my other monitor and grab the CSS that I've uh, whipped up for this one, copy it, and paste it here. So there's the uh, ID of the div, and I'm saying the position is fixed. That's so it will stay where we tell it to and float or be sticky. Um, the sticky attribute uh, isn't completely uh, accepted by a lot of browsers, as my older ones, uh, so we continue to use fixed in the meantime. But anyways, display flex, this is what will make the uh, alignment go vertical instead of horizontal. And give it a high Z index, uh, Z index for all you non-Canadians. Um, <laughs> Uh, so it makes sure it stays on top of pretty much everything. And uh, this is uh, what's going to control where it's going to stick to. So we've got 20 VH. So that's 20% of the viewport height. So whatever your display height is, the viewport, uh, it'll be at the 20% mark from the top. And here it'll be 2% of the viewport width uh, from the right hand side and we gave it a width of 50 pixels so that it's uh, basically just the width of the icon so let's go save that and see what that looks like okay refresh here and look at that oh do a little scrolling i don't have a lot of stuff to scroll but yeah there you go but you're saying, oh, yeah, well, but gee whiz, they're all crammed up together. Yeah, well, another little blip of uh, CSS. We'll take care of that. Uh, we'll just copy that. And paste it in here. And this is just telling to give the icons a, a margin of 10 pixels. So, again, you can change all these values if you want it on the left side. Well, say right or left there in two percent and if you want it towards the bottom we'll click bottom and it'll be 20 percent from the bottom and so on so save that now let's go took a look refresh ah that's better and there you go so um if we go and uh, just uh, minimize our browser a little bit here, and you can see that uh, it does follow along quite nicely. Uh, you may need to uh, do some uh, media queries if you wanted them to be smaller or something at the other sizes, but uh, that's for another video. So that's basically it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, uh, just that. And... Uh, the short code in a hook location and uh, here's the uh, you see my coffee cup I'll just uh, paste um, where do I have it here let me just go to grab it here it's a um, it's an ASCII character we could do a unicorn uni did I say unicorn unicode one uh, as well but uh, uh, this works. So I'm just going to paste it here to show you uh, what it is. And uh, I'll put this on the uh, on the page there on the Sniffle Valve site with the, where I'll have this code uh, displayed where you can copy and paste it. Uh, so anyways, it's, it's this. It's the ampersand, uh, pound, and then 9749 um, semicolon. So you just stick that um, here. Uh, right at the end and uh, once you save it of course it turns to that uh, thing but uh, in the front end it looks like uh, that so hope you uh, enjoyed that and uh, just so you know um, you can do a lot more uh, than just the uh, elementary code there uh, you can do like complete CSS boxes or uh, display uh, just uh, 
pretty much anything, any uh, CSS or HTML. Uh, you just wrap it in a div and put it in the hook location and away you go. If you look here, this is what uh, the same process that I use here on the Sniffleball site. Uh, let me just refresh it here. And it pops up this little sign-up box. And this is done in Anywhere Elementor uh, uh, just to create the, this all in uh, Elementor. And, of course, they uh, use the short code from Anywhere Elementor and plunked it in the same location. And uh, I also have a little close box. And uh, if I sit here and blather on long enough, I've got a timer. Uh, not really timer, but I didn't realize you could do it with CSS. But the time uh, it'll close after a specified period of time, which I have it set up for 50 seconds in this particular one. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, you can do all sorts of neat stuff that way. So kind of like stick anything anywhere, pretty much, um, just using uh, that simple technique. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the. Sniffle Valve YouTube channel as well as right here on the Sniffle Valve site and as I said the uh, code will be on page here on the uh, site and I'll have a link to that in the video so thanks for watching and yep there it goes we'll see you next time good night